Let's walk through the process of adding a new demand at equality. Let's say that easy maintenance is real important for our typical customer. Well, the first question is, who are we talking about? And who, who's our typical customer? So that's what this green text box is for. You can define your typical customer here. Now, later in this video, we'll show you how you can analyze other customer segments, but you want to start with your typical, your usual customer. Now, like every systems win template, whenever you click any color or column header, you're going to get pop-up help. Now, in this very first column, the pop-up help says this is for the importance to our most common typical customer. So we choose from our drop-down choices to answer that question. How important is easy maintenance to our typical customer? And then we answer the next question. How well does our typical customer think that we're currently doing in that area? And then we hit the tab key to go to the next question. How well do we want to do in that area? And then this last question is optional. Some companies allow their salespeople to skew the weightings just a little bit. If you don't, just hide it. And then we're going to answer the question, what are some measurable performance measures for how we come up with that? How, how easy to maintain is this bike? So maybe speed to change a tire might be one good measure. And then we use our drop-down list to choose the degree of correlation between what we're measuring and what the customer is asking for. And then we can scroll over to this optional customer evaluation section where you can identify your customer segments and analyze what is important to them and how they perceive your offering as squared up against each of your competitors. And then we can simply choose these drop-down menu choices to view these pre-programmed charts that graphically illustrate the relative weights of importance and how each customer segment perceives us as compared to each of our competitors. All of this is pre-programmed for you. All you need to do is enter your data. Or if you don't want to do a customer competitor analysis, just hide or don't print these columns. Down in this bottom section, you have rows for user-defined data with all of the calculation powers of Excel. And here you can record the scientifically measured comparisons of each of your performance measures as squared up against each of your competitors. And then you can do a Kano analysis to determine which measures are satisfiers, dissatisfiers, anti in the poker game, or absolute delighters to your customers. And you can rate the difficulty of accomplishing each of your target objectives. And you can rate your current capabilities. And the entire purpose of all of this is to make this bottom line decision. Which of these potential performance objectives are worth doing? And of course, you can always use our Pareto template to create a Pareto chart of any data from any systems to win template. So. The House of Quality is an incredibly powerful tool for Six Sigma design of a new product or redesign of an existing product. And anyone who's ever tried to do a QFD on a piece of paper will truly appreciate Systems to Win.